Hey guys, Beastly Gamer here. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about PlayStation 4's upcoming remastered edition of The Last of Us. It's actually called The Last of Us Remastered because uh, the definitive edition was already taken. Now, I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on this game coming out later on this year and the price point that it's coming out because it seems to really be inciting a lot, a lot of debate across the board from a lot of reviewers and YouTubers and everybody out there is kind of talking about this thing. There's a lot of people who are really excited about it. There are a lot of people who are kind of upset about it. And uh, I wanted to weigh in and give you guys my beastly thought on this. And, uh, you know, hear back from you guys. You guys let me know if you kind of see the point of what I'm saying or if I'm totally, you know, losing my mind. Now, The Last of Us came out less than a year ago. And uh, it came out and sold millions and millions of copies. People loved the game. It was a great new IP. And uh, to me, it was probably the best game of the generation. I really do think that. I'm not just blowing smoke. I think that that game probably was the best game I ever played on my PS3. And it, to me, surpassed everything that ever came out on the Xbox 360. So it, it definitely, for me at least, was game of the, of the generation. And for, definitely for 2013, for me, game of the year. It's, it won over 200 game of the year awards. So, you know, it, the reputation kind of precedes it. it it speaks for itself you know when you get this much good going on it has to be something magical about it now this is what the really arguments coming in there's a lot of people you know talking about the fact that like me personally I didn't want to buy Tomb Raider the definitive edition for 60 bucks when I already bought Tomb Raider and uh, that was the thing that was my personal opinion my personal decision I enjoyed Tomb Raider I had a good time playing it but that game itself I didn't feel warranted another $60 purchase now, like I said, I really did like the game. I thought I had a good time playing it, but did I want to play it again? And you know, with up res graphics and no, it, it to me it just didn't speak to me the same way The Last of Us did. The Last of Us, it it meant more to me. Um, it's like if you have your favorite movie, you can watch it over and over again. Tomb Raider was a great great game. It'd be equivalent to a good movie for me, but it's not my favorite movie. The Last of Us might be my favorite game. It's definitely in my top three of all time. So. Uh, to me, that alone, that experience, that magic, that, that captivation, that the way the game captivated me and so many of you guys warrants me purchasing it again. Now here's where the debate comes in and where I, th I think the debate, the debate is a little faulty. A lot of these guys, uh, YouTubers and reviewers, are upset that you know people like me didn't buy Tomb Raider at 60 bucks, but I'm so eager to buy this game at 60 bucks. Now, the game is coming out with all the DLC. DLC costs, okay? Uh, Left Behind just came out. And that was, you know, 15 bucks. It's DLC. And so that does cost, and it does carry some weight. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, it's still, you know, $60 for a game you already played. But think about this. And this is my major point. Call GameSpot, I mean GameStop right now. Call GameStop, call Best Buy. Call a Walmart, call a major retailer and ask them how much The Last of Us is on the PS3 right now. Yeah, ask them. This destroys the entire argument. The Last of Us sold over 6 million copies. The game is a phenomenon uh, and, and as far as new IPs go, it's definitely a, f a phenomenon. The game is still selling right now at full retail price on the PS3. Okay. So why in the hell would it cost less on the PS4 when it's still full retail on the PS3? That just doesn't make any sense. It's being remastered, it, the graph, it's getting a graphical upgrade, it's getting all the DLC, and you want it for 30 or 40 bucks? Now I understand for the people who beat the game 50 or 60 times, or you know, beat it 5 or 6 times, you might want a discount, but you got to think about all these other things coming into the fold. There are people who are moving over from the Xbox 360 who have come over to the PlayStation side. And during their, their time with their 360, of course they saw the reviews of The Last of Us. And of course they, they bit their lip full of rage and anger because they weren't able to play this game. Now they've got their PlayStation 4. And they are extremely excited about the prospect of being able to play this game. Why should you be upset at that? There are also people like me who just, I love the experience so much, I'm willing to pay that 60 bucks again just to have it and have it better than it's ever been including all the DLC, the DLC that hasn't even come out yet 
And on top of that, it's my money to spend. It's mine to do what I want to do with it, just like it's yours to do what you want to do. But it'd be different if The Last of Us right now was out at retail and it was $29 or a Game of the Year edition for, yeah, 30 bucks. Then I could kind of understand people being upset that the game's coming out at 60 retail. But when you go inside GameStop right now and the game is selling for $55, $60 new, you cannot get upset that it's being released at that price point for the PS4. It just, it's, just, it's a faulty argument. It's a faulty thought process. So you guys let me know what you think about that. I think it's great. I really love the game. I am so excited about playing it. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are too. Leave a comment. Let me know. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.